information that you may it might not be listed or posted in the at 3ds.com support as I just talked about on a previous uh, video uh, well let me just show you real quick this was the previous video <coughs> so this 3ds.com that's the website where you get your Katia basically Katia student so the first question is that how long it lost your Katia student license uh, normally uh, the student license uh, takes uh, up to 14 months so you can use up to 14 months um, then it will expire after that uh, the only way your Katia to renew your Katia is that just basically go through the same process which you have to go to the uh, 3ds.com website or the campus website and basically make another order and of course you have to provide uh, some kind of uh, verification and uh, you have to be eligible and then they will send you the license and um, the application so you can install it so basically you just have to renew you have to redo the whole process again then you get your license you know so but uh, uh, since you already have installed Katia on your machine all what you need is a license but they will send you the whole product again and the license so basically you can just ignore the applications download the installation stuff you can just take that license which is the, it's like a file it's a file name is something dot lick l i c okay uh, <clears throat> so that's what you need so the license let me show you how it looks like just if you are curious let me just show you hold on so uh, just an example this is how the license looks like okay something like that and lick you know l i c just stands for license so once you receive that license just to one of the tip here is make sure you save it somewhere safe just in case if you if you have messed up your node lock licensing and i will talk about more detail on another video the whole licensing information and what type of it, what types of licenses available uh, well for a student there's only one license okay but if you are not a student there's three kind of license and i'll tell you uh, tell you about it more and how you can configure it and uh, what kind of problems you may see it and how you can resolve it we'll talk about that later Okay, so basic to, to answer this question, how long it lasts is 14 months, and after that you can renew it by just buying again another one. Can I uh, move my license to another machine? Okay, license when you license is not just like a file that you can just copy and take it to uh, move it to another machine. It's not like that. So the license is very for Katia. Uh, specifically and, and I know there's a lot other most of the software right now is, is similar however Katia is very specific uh, once you get a license and that license is attached I mean it has like a target ID and that target ID basically you are providing that before you buy your software you know before you buy it they will ask you your target ID because target ID is basically it's like an eight digit number and that eight digit number is like each machine has that eight digit number which is like you can think of it as like a social security for the computer okay so there is no other there is no two machines have uh, the same target ID so you send that target ID and they will make a license for you and that license it could be used only for that specific machine that you're gonna be installing your Katia in it. So it's, it's not easy or it's not possible you can move from another place, uh, another one. The only way you can move to, you wanna get it is, is that get a new license for the other machine that has, a, of course, a different target ID. Okay, I will talk about that target ID information and everything also in the other video, which is the licensing video. Okay, so to answer you is that whole system uh, it will allow you to get another license. Technically, you can say it's free, but you have to tell them like, okay, hey, uh, my machine is crashed or my machine is messed up uh, or some reason uh, I don't want to use this machine anymore because blah blah, and you uh, you want to go to a new machine. You can.
I just tell them a good reason and just talk to those support. I mean, uh, not the phone, of course. There's an email which is contact us on that website that I just told you about last time. Go there and send them that information and they will send you a form that you need to fill out all the reasoning and they will send you another one. And they only let you do that once. How they will know that? Because the way they will know that, because of course you have a user ID and all that. Uh, I mean, you already on the system and they have an idea, you know, who you are. Okay, now, the, so now, yes, to answer this is yes, you can move or get another license for another machine.